is it still it's still like we're still being oppressed like a mental thing yeah uh for so long especially like in our hip-hop culture they were attacking the fathers i feel mm -hmm. like was the big goals right yeah, it yeah. was like really get the fathers to think a certain way get them in the streets separate them from the household and welcome back to filter what podcast let's get it this episode is sponsored by classic grooming Ladies, if you love a man with a groomed, smooth, and moisturized beard, this is an all-natural product that you would want your man to have. It is light, it smells amazing, and it'll leave your man's beard rejuvenated. Hands down, the best products I have ever used to grow and maintain my beard. They have everything you need from beard wash, conditioners, mm -hmm. oil-use butters. So check out the link in the description or classicgroomingco.com. I promise you will not be disappointed. What's up, y'all? Fly morning. Welcome back to Filter What Podcast. Today is the Guys Night episode. Got my guys with me. Got my brother, my guy starter. What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good. Good, cooling, good. cooling. Chilling. I am glad to glad to have y'all here. But today I wanted to talk about um some of the pressure that men and like black men got to deal with nowadays and. It is a lot. On that topic. A lot of pressure. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, so what are some things that come to mind? Just trying to make it in this life, period. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, every man, especially black men in America, everybody want to get status. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your woman. Take care of your kids. It's, it's hard out here, man. And everybody feel like they got to compete and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, just a lot. That. I definitely feel you on the compete thing, too. It's like... The media for, for years and generations has always put out like the ideal model of a perfect man, but especially for the black community, it took us a long time to even get up on that screen, right? Right, right, right. And then it was so many different versions of us. We was the thugs for so long, and then we was the crackheads yeah. for so long, and then we were the, the all of a sudden, the, the loving households once we had the Bill Cosby's right, pull right. up and start changing <laughs> yeah, the yeah. game, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. Um, but I feel like nowadays it's really hard for people to even understand like what that really is in this society. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like what is the perfect husband right now? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, who what is the Especially perfect Especially with father? these modern women. Yeah. Cause they out here with all this music talking about, fuck that nigga, I'm a yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck that nigga, I'm a boss bitch and all that shit. And a lot of these women now feel like they don't even need no nigga. Yeah, I think that's you know what I'm saying. Oh, they don't like to like submit to a man or want to be submissive or want the man to lead them now they they want to be equal or shit like that i mean which is cool but i um that's not the way i think it's that's not the way i want it yeah yeah you know i think that's saying? interesting because i for me personally i think that's just a facade i think women like especially in the music culture women do that but at the end of the day women still want a real man i talked about about this in the previous episode like a real woman still wants the characteristics of a real right. man like that's yeah. how i feel so all of that to me is like just fantasy. Like, yeah, but at the end of the talking. day, like women, when they go to sleep, they want to be under a real dude. Right. Three in the morning, they hear a bang on the door. Who's getting up, the man or the women? Like, right. you feel me? Like, who's protecting so, you? Yeah. So all of that's cool, but I'd be seeing through it. Right. But um, to chime in on what you were saying about uh, like I I think the different levels of like what we went through, like as black men and how we're portrayed is interesting. You know, like where do you like, what's next? Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, That's really where it's at. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times, like, we feel like, like, I don't know. To me, it's like a double-edged sword. Like, do you feel like, is it still, it's still like, we're still being oppressed? Like, yeah. not as it was, of course, like hundreds of years ago, but on some, like, mental, like a mental thing? Yeah. Or, like, what do y'all think about that? Like, what you doing? Definitely. I mean, the psychology behind it. I, I mean, I'm going to talk from, like, what I feel like I see in the media, right? Uh, for so long, especially, like, in our hip-hop culture, mm -hmm. um, they, like, they were attacking the fathers, I feel mm -hmm. like, was the big goals, right? right it right. was, like, really get the fathers to think a certain way, get them in the streets, separate them from the household. Um, the younger brothers that, you know, the older brothers that grow up to be fathers kind of, like, following the same light. They're pretty much showing them that, you know, you can make money, doing this, whether it's in the streets or through betraying it in the media. That's kind of always been like a, a thing within that space. Yeah. Um, I feel like now it's, I, I get what they're saying with the women empowerment, because I also agree with you. It's like, yeah. it's a, it could be maybe not necessarily a, a facade, but definitely like a defense mechanism. Like, I, he's just going to use me right, anyway. Right, Let right. me get to it first kind of thing. 
I feel like we're kind of all like in that psychological war right now mm -hmm. where we're trying to figure out, all right, you know, who can I trust? When can I trust? Who can I love? When can I love? Right. And the, the first thing that gets affected is when um, we stop looking towards ourselves for that. And I feel like that we are so used to looking at this person, studying the stats of, of this team and game, and we want to be a baller one day too, which are always trying to like compare ourselves to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But it's like hard to find really like the individuality of what we want as an individual man, an individual mm -hmm. person, individual goals. We all got different morals. We all raised different ways. Um, but sometimes like that could get lost. Right. Out here. It's a being attacked and stripped away. Mm -hmm. right, stripped right. away. Kind of yeah, every yeah. time we get something good, Get stripped away right. every time we get something good. We get stripped. I'm not even gonna get into politics or none yeah, of that, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. Every time, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, so with that being said, because I agree and that's interesting, what do you feel like us as men like what makes us whole? Like, what makes what um ingredients do we need as men to ultimately be our best self? I think good woman, mm -hmm. family, foundation, um, good mental. You know, mental focus, mm -hmm. you know, some money. <laughs> Word. Yeah, I definitely feel Word. that. I agree. Definitely like a strong moral compass. Definitely um, the right goals intact. Um, understand. I'm, I'm big on like the why. Like yeah. us understanding our why. I feel like self-reflection is a really important yeah. thing. Like sometimes I'll be having like a good situation going on, but I'll still be like in the corner, like just thinking about the next steps. And everybody yeah. like, yo, what's good? Like you all right, you should be happy. I'm like, it's not that I'm not happy. It's just like I know every time I accomplish like one thing, it's either gonna get I either gotta fight for that to be cemented in stone uh -huh. or I have to just like move on to the next thing immediately and be like, all right, how can not only can I move forward and constantly find progress from the last thing I did. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they just take that yeah. right away for you or they make you feel like it's not, and it'll be your own people too because it's like they feel like you're in competition with them right. or something yep. or you're signing a, a tone. And like that could that's men and maybe that's women, maybe that's humans across the board, but people don't like being reminded of what they're not doing for themselves. Right. And I feel like they take that less to heart if they was already having that conversation with themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's all right to be like be aware of something, but you shouldn't be beating yourself up to the point where next time somebody pokes you it's it's like a broken bone. You can't yeah, 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 yeah. your whole reality is shattered. Yeah. You know? It's like a whole defense mechanism. And I feel like um a lot of women do that too. As well as men, it's like it's just a the whole competition thing. Like, I feel yeah, like I don't think women should be competing with men. Why are you trying yeah. to compete with a man? I mean, it's 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 no it's not wrong with you know being bossed up and being independent, you know, and doing all that. But I don't know. It's, it's just weird to me. Yeah, I think it's more of the defense mechanism, like you said. Like, because I didn't even think about it from that perspective. That's interesting. I agree with that. Like, instead of it being more of like a fantasy thing and. I think it is a defense mechanism, yeah, bro. Right? but why do you feel like it is? I mean, because we got ours, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like every time we walk into mm -hmm. a room, we want to put ours. Like these guys that just act tougher than they need to act. Right. Like, when they're in front of certain people. Yeah. I, mean, you know? I don't even like being around dudes like that. I like <laughs> yeah, being by right. myself. I feel you. Right. I feel you. Everybody got that macho gene and shit. Yeah, man. I'm not doing that. I'm in a like as a for that. music artist. Yeah. I'm in a competitive sport, so it's a little different. It's right. like yeah, self-expression, yeah. like art. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Art. We're competing with art, but I don't really like wear that. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. yeah, outside yeah. the booth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm confident in myself, but I'm confident in myself is because I know I already checked in with myself of what I'm doing wrong. Right. I'm already being myself, not being myself, but like making sure I'm keeping up with the goals that I set. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like sometimes it's even hard. To, if you don't know where you're at with yourself, it's hard to make goals because right. everything feels like it's so far out of reach. Yeah. You know, and I feel like even like with the women, sometimes maybe they're not competing with us. But because it's been so far out of reach for so long, they have to come in with force and vengeance. It's like, we got to come in with force. Right, it right. hasn't been a job that I walked into where I was like, all right, well, let's see, I'm like one of like three or maybe 17 black guys in the whole company. Let me right. do what I got to do to really stand out or like having an internship, somebody take a shot on the young black kid and then there's somebody in the office that's like, yo, what you doing with that kid? Like, what, right, right, right. What are you even... You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you always got to go that extra mile. Even as a hip-hop artist, that's like one of the main occupations a young black male would uh, want to pursue. And I've been yeah. wanting to do it since I was six, but what really got me to connect with everything was like 
the entrepreneurship, like from working with you and all right, that, right. being like showing me that, like, yo, these things are not out of reach. Sometimes you just gotta build a little stepping stone or whatever yeah. to get there. But those stepping stones take work. So it's like yeah, yeah. the moment we start like trying to compete and the moment we start looking in the mirror, it's like we'll have more confidence in being able to provide those results. Yeah. You know, or learn from scraping our knees on it. Cause they're already shooting us down and right, knocking right, right. us down and trying to like take away all of our confidence. Right. <laughs> right, no, right. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That's so. a fact. And I think um to to touch on that, just for me, like the the entrepreneur entrepreneurship like to me always been important and that's for me is ultimately makes me like the man that I need to be like so everyone is different but for me that's important like just yeah. like really owning your destiny like right. owning who you are and where you want to be and how successful you want to be yeah. for me is like very important always yeah. been important uh -huh. sometimes it gets hard though sometimes you get backtracked and feel you know incompetent yeah. or not yeah. you know inspired to do it that that's a battle in itself though that you yeah. know people go through no i agree so it's you know but i think it's important to like surround yourself with the right ingredients good woman like all of the right. things that we just right, mentioned right, good right. woman um good being in a good mental space right. yeah. these small things that help you build voltron to boom right. accomplish your goals or accomplish whatever it is that you need to accomplish you know, and even for me i feel like that goes right back to like the parent like i was saying that it's kind of attacking the parents like at the end of the day, my entrepreneurial spirit comes from my mom. And I mm -hmm. feel like she really um, got that. And like, really, she got like a code to it. You right. know what I mean? Where it's like, that's who she is. It's unnatural. She took the defense mechanism and kind of flipped it on them. Where it's like, all right, it's going to be my power now. And like, I right, don't think I'm going to be educated in this, this, and this. But right, I right. am, boom. Oh, you don't think I know how to brand and market, and blah, 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 but I do, boom. You know what I mean? So I kind of like watch her and then also kind of watch my pop's confidence in himself. But he'll be the first to be like, oh, well, listen. He'll joke about it a little bit, be like, yo, I messed up on this. Yo, don't do this. And yo, if I had a chance, I would have, you know what I mean? Yo, these are things I would I regret doing with, yeah. with, to your mother. The, 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 you know, like, he was really like an open person. So I really think it does come back down to like the formula of these, like we're the parents now, right? So it's like the chicks that, um, you know, they're in the club and they're getting turned up and all that. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you really start, like, when you think you're the female future, and you coming in back to your, your household of three kids and right, right. you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that if they single. If they single, right. But then it also again goes back to the defense mechanism. It's like maybe they're not necessarily getting what they want out of the relationship, but instead of communicating that and facing that head on and actually having to say, I right, if I say something, this might not work or this might work, but some people so scared of the might not work when something's already not working. Yeah. They'd rather be defensive than communicate. So now you saying with a dude that he don't even know that he got a problem going on, you move in certain ways, dudes ain't stupid. So yeah. even if we don't got the, the proof in our, like mm -hmm. intuition is a big thing, especially when you're in a tight relationship. Right, right. So you're gonna feel the energy shift. Next thing you know, dude's like, yo, I can't put my finger on it. And then we start going crazy. So it's, it's like this vicious, and it still go right back to the, the thing yeah. that we seen on TV earlier. Yeah. The song that we like, the song that got her turned up when she right, wanted right. to get into that, the song that we in the club, and you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I feel like we gotta really, um, part of the, the ingredients is like, uh, I just feel like building that foundation in your household, even if you sit, even if you live by yourself. Because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. your household. Once you invite somebody in, I'm a big believer on you're not gonna find somebody to go 50 50 with until you have your 100 or at least yeah. 80, so they can help you get that extra 20 because your 50 that you're providing to that 50 50 relationship is actually your 100 right, right? so mm -hmm. if you're not coming in 100 they're not coming in 100 y'all really don't got the that 50 v i got 25 25 and now y'all filling voids and filling gaps and, right right you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah i feel you that makes sense and going back to what you said about foundation it's interesting because i feel like our foundation was like the opposite mm -hmm. like we really didn't have the the motivated entrepreneurship parents our fathers wasn't in our lives like you yeah. feel me and i feel like just like you use that as fuel that's what we use as fuel so i i boom we seen our circumstance we seen how we came up right. we're going to get it like this right, ain't right, right. this ain't the answer like this right. ain't the end all be all for us so boom we're going to do the opposite right. like so i don't know it's just interesting to think about like life and perspective like right. you know what i'm saying 100%. like the perspective that you had and what made you want to go get it 
and the perspective that we had and in, in our story and made us want to go get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's just I don't know. It's kind yeah, of, no, it's kind of interesting. Because even like going back to my pops, like I didn't really develop a relationship with him until I was like maybe 20, like 21. Like he would pull up when it's like, like when I was really in trouble, yeah. and it was time for my mom to like put a like, you know, a beat down how, on how the man. Like, I mean, honestly, was you when, like when I started to get older, I definitely started to get some resentment because, like, part of my go get it is like my mom, right? It's like I, w- I was the oldest in the household, I was the first born, I'm the oldest boy, I'm like the oldest sibling, I mean, oldest male sibling, now right. the oldest sibling in New York type thing. So it's like I've always felt like uh, the future of our family and generational wealth was in my hands because I was very aware of the unique time I was born, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, we were right now, like, we. Us, like, we were able to start getting it in the, like, only time of human history we really could have. Right, 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 <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I always tell people, like, uh, you know, people be like, oh, the DeLorean, what would you do if you had a time machine? I'm like, walk away, money. Right, right. No, <laughs> like, where am I going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you know what I'm fact. saying? Like, so, you know. The time to live in is now, man. Yeah, you know? So, like, even with that, I learned from mistakes, too. Like, I said, my pops... He'd be like, yo, you know, this is what I wish I didn't do. But that was after, he felt like he had to kind of say that to me. Because I was yeah. like, yo, bro, you're not going to just be pulling up to, like, beat me. Like, first of all, it don't even hurt no more, so y'all beat on that. Right, 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 right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please. You know what I mean? We talk about discipline, like, let's really use the words. And I, But I also had to, I grew up to learn that my parents are just older than me. Yeah. At the end of the day, like I like I'm out of that, oh, my mom and dad raises, like, nah, like, just like, I don't have any kids right now. My mom had me when she was 22. Yeah. Shut up. Things I was doing at 22, I would not be able to handle no human at 22. Right. So I'm already like, yo, like y'all already went through the battles and the everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we don't yeah. always necessarily like people don't always necessarily get to plan how things go, mm-hmm. right? And like whether it's love, whether it's circumstances, whether it's financials, you will never really be able to plan it. You just have to plan to take the hits when it's time to do something about it. Right. You don't know what's going to fix it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to plan to take the hits. You're already hurt. If you sit here, it's going to get hurt. Long you're going to matter. It hurts a little more. That's, that's tough skin yeah, yeah, yeah. that you break through that. You know what yeah. I mean? It's interesting you say that because I think that's what makes people who they are. We all go through stuff. Right. You got your issues. I got my issues. You got your issues. But I feel like it's what you do after the fact what makes you who you are. Yeah, like, right. hey, what you learn from it. Yeah, when we was kids, we all fell. Like, but you don't think twice about not getting up. You're gonna get right right back up. You feel me? Like, you don't. Damn, why'd I fall? Like, why? (laughs) And I feel like the more people dealt with their adversity that way, and we'd be alright. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. But um, to conclude this, what do you what do y'all want people to take away from this episode? I don't know. Just try to grow. Yeah, it's all about growth and prospering. You know. Mm-hmm. Positivity. That's what I, what I want y'all to take away. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> um, you know, even even in a bad situation that may not necessarily be your fault, don't allow yourself to, like to be the victim. Even if you're the victim, don't allow right. yourself because that's a perspective thing as well, right? Right, right. So if you don't want like creating that narrative, never even in your mind paint yourself as a victim. Paint yourself as a student. Like I'm gonna learn the most out of everybody here, you yeah. know what I'm saying, in this situation. Yeah. A lot of people do have vic- victim mindset yeah. about like everything that goes on in their life. They try to blame it on other people. Right. So just look back and see what you're doing and you know, stop yeah. trying to apply everything that's going on with you to other people. Right. No, that's a fact. There was uh-huh. a, I, I forget the quote exactly, so I don't want to butcher it, but my man just uh, brought it up to me. It was, it was pretty much along the lines of like, don't, don't place blame on people and um, take things as a malicious act when it could just be ignorance on their behalf. Mm-hmm. They might not know how these things affect you. They might not know that, you know, this is going to ripple effect to that. They might they might know, but they might just, like, not know that you are really going to take it to heart or they wouldn't be able to fix it. Or Some people you know it when it's malicious and things like that, but sometimes it really is. Like, everybody's going, like you said, we all going through yeah. our stuff. And just because... We want to vocalize it to a certain group. Doesn't mean that group's not going through things at the exact same time. That's changing them. You might not be speaking to the same person you're speaking to. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I feel like it's very important 
to just remember like, we all human now. Yeah. Don't wait for the aliens to come down <laughs> and try to blow up the city to be like, yo, kumbaya, humans stick together. Like, yeah, yeah. nah, bro, listen, we already at this time. Like, the future's here. There's a lot going on with currency. There's a lot going on with technology. There's going to mm-hmm. be a lot of things going on with the education system. There's going to be a lot of things going on with employment. Like, just take it. I Take all of those things, some foreign concepts that you have no idea about. Take that as the alien that you should be afraid of and start getting yourself and your community and your family prepared to move forward right. and really make, like I said, we we are in a very unique time. And the one thing that I always kept in my mind, the moment I started people, I'm like, oh, we could do this. Oh, we got computers in our pocket. Like we had, I had a flip phone with snake on it. Like now I got right. a whole laptop in my hand. Like right, right. I'm not naive to be like, right, they're giving a lot of people tools and open source uh, software and platforms for people to build. They're asking us to build a new world right now. All yeah. this company, everybody, they're asking us to build a new world. It's so a it's, lot. I think it's a lot more opportunity now. There's like yeah. no reason yeah. to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, it's in the phone. It's at the touch of our fingers. So, but I will yeah. say, I feel like the opportunity is going to close. Yeah, I agree. We got we so much shit. in a yeah. short yeah, yeah, yeah. period, just in our lifetime. There's a lot of things that changed that our ancestors and yeah, our right, grandparents right. was like, yo, what is going yeah. That window's going to close. They're not going to keep this yeah. open. I, I <laughs> they I said agree. build it real quick, but you got to think of who, who you're building it for at the same time. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like it's once it's built, you got to secure your, uh, your spot nah, on that land because you've seen what happened last time. There was land, and they just started throwing people on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Word, bro. Now, to conclude this, um, I agree with both of y'all. I, I just want to say it, put yourself in a position to ultimately be your best self, surround yourself with whatever that is you, that you need mentally, physically, spiritually. Get in tune with yourself to be your best self, all right? But thank yep. y'all for tuning in. Hope sure. y'all enjoy this episode. Let me know what y'all think, mm. and we will see y'all at the next one, all right?